we've got a question here from Angela. My daughter is 26. She's a high school English teacher. She has a degree in psychology. Are these on the critical skills list, especially in WA? And how long will it take for a visa to be approved if it's on the skills list? So I think that's a difference there between the critical and the normal skills. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'll, I'll cut it up a little bit. All right. So a high school teacher right now, it was on the skills list for WA. It's It's been closed recently. Right. Um, that's uh, so. That's it. Teachers, are, I find, are, are gener is generally an occupation that has been in demand, right? So it's much like nurses. It, there's, there's secondary school teachers, early childhood, primary school, so on and so forth. So um, my advice to the high school teacher portion, if, is, if that has been something that um, your daughter has been, working, has been working in more recently, Consider doing the skills assessment first or preparing for skills assessment because I'm confident that even if a secondary school teacher, which is high school teacher um, in Australia, even if it doesn't reopen in Perth, there will be other opportunities in other parts of the in other parts of Australia. Okay. So that's that's one part of the question. What's the other question? Just to come back to that, so you said it's been closed recently. Is that just a COVID yeah. thing that it's not on the on the um, PIMSOL list or is it closed like permanently? It's just closed for a while. So generally that's what happens, right? So when the state's at the start of the financial year, the lists across Australia in terms of the skill occupation list that they're looking for, as well as the specific state list, at the start of the financial year, it's always the, at the longest. Once they roll those those lists out, right, the volume of people will start to, to respond. And wow. as soon as they've had enough, they'll close it. And so generally what I've seen is that it's closed temporarily. Those will get adjusted and tend to reopen in the new year, in the new financial year. So that's July. Yeah. Okay, so the other part of her question, how long will it take for a visa to be approved if it is on the skills list? So it depends on the visa program that you're applying for, but let's assume you're, so let's assume that you are going for the points tested skilled migration one, right? So that's, that will require, you know, pulling all your documents together, yeah. putting in an expression of interest. And now you put in an expression of interest so that you alert Australia to say, hey, I'm putting my name in the hat, my name and my skills in the hat for selection. So that at that point, right, depending again on the program that you're going for. So assuming that, and there are three skill, general skill program. There's your 189. So that's the independent one. Right. That one, highly competitive. Right. Invites are only going out to people who, are, who have 90 to 95 points and above. Wow. Okay. So wow. if you have anything lower than that, you're going to be waiting a long time to get an invitation for 189. Yeah. Um, if you are able to get in um, an expression of interest for your 190s, generally it's a little bit less. I feel like invites have gone out to people at between 75 to 80 pointers. Okay. Um, and for the 491s, it's even lower. Um, right. Invites have been going out to people 65 to 70 points. Okay. Wow. Okay. So in terms of waiting time, Mm -hmm. um 189 long time 190 i'll say anywhere between three months to six months especially if you're onshore mm -hmm. uh 491 quick it can be actually anywhere between one month to three months wow. so once you get that you put in your your um once you have the invitation you put in um your visa application and that that is taking anywhere between that i've seen the soonest that I've had recently was four months. Um, four months, but the standard processing time right now that they're saying is anywhere between four to nine months. Wow. I don't yeah. know how you keep up with all those numbers. I just see the numbers every now and again and I switch off. <laughs> yes. No, I know, right? So it, it's good that today I've been talking to a couple of people on skilled migration visas. So the numbers are all on top of my head. Um, but yes, if I've been talking about skilled migration visas and then say someone comes to me to ask me about the parent visa, I yeah. tend to go, my numbers are all mixed up. Give me a moment. Let me 
let me check. Well, to give you a heads up, that is one of my questions is parent visas, but we've got okay. a couple of questions in there. So stop writing your numbers down, but we've got a couple yes. of questions. Yeah. 